So as we mentioned, the president did announce his toughest trade action to date. And as Kayla Tausche reports from Washington, there are fears of more to come. President Trump signed an order that paves the way for steep tariffs on a wide range of Chinese imports. The move marks the end of a seven-month investigation into Chinese tactics to challenge U.S. technology dominance. We have a tremendous intellectual property theft situation going on. So we're going to get it taken care of. And frankly, it's going to make us a much stronger, much richer nation. The action comes as the U.S. is imposing tariffs on all imports of steel and aluminum, with certain allies and products exempted, and on top of tariffs on Chinese-made solar panels. U.S. exporters, including soybean farmers, pork producers, and aircraft maker Boeing, are bracing for a counterpunch from China, which says it will take all necessary measures to safeguard its interests. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer told lawmakers that kind of retaliation is unfair but doesn't change things. It's not possible to take the position that because of soybean farmers, we're not going to stick up for our rights in a whole variety of ways and have hundreds of billions of dollars with the other exporters and domestic producers be punished because of unfair trade. The CEO of engine maker Cummins, Tom Leinbarger, fears the administration's approach is leading to a trade war. We agree there are challenges in China. We just want to address it a different way, a way that's proven effective over many, many decades, as opposed to unilateral tariffs, which have always proven ineffective. But Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross says those fears are overblown. I think there will be some ultimate retaliation, but I don't think it's going to be the end of the earth. There may be some firing shots over the bow, but I believe at the end of the day, this will end up in a negotiated settlement. A senior administration official tells me this is just the kickoff to a set of multiple penalties against China and that further actions, namely restrictions on Chinese investments in the United States, could be unveiled in the coming days. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche in Washington.